Hi guys, I'm Ben Wilson, the editor of Official PlayStation Magazine UK. I'm here today with Joe Corey uh, from Eidos Montreal. He's the producer on Tomb Raider Multiplayer. I'm going to pick his brains about his new game. Um, Joe, you're probably fed up of being asked this question already, but why add multiplayer to what's always been a single player series? I can't be fed up of a question that I asked myself a while ago. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly simple. We first started with seeing it's important to analyze the franchise, what we were, what they were redoing with the reimagining of the franchise, seeing if it fits, if it, there's any you know tones that we can take, any anything that we can take from from the the reimagining of the franchise and make a multiplayer out of it. We thought about okay, the major themes: survival. Lara Croft stranded on an island. Scavenger on the island, and the island itself. There's themes here that we could potentially bring to a multiplayer experience, which is basically the fact that survivors want to survive, Laura wants to get off the island, and scavengers want to eliminate them. So there's different objectives, there's two sides, and there's the island itself that we can bring, you know, intimidation factor to it, you know, the weather, the, uh, all the stuff that happens on the island that Lara sees in the single player campaign, we can bring parts of that to the multiplayer. And with that in mind, we felt that, you know, we can offer experiences that, that are different than people might have seen. It's not just about racking points or kills or whatever. There's, you know, uh, a, th a theme, a survival theme, um, to, and, and different objectives per side. Uh, and with that in mind, we went, we went about and built a multiplayer mode for Tomb Raider. We were convinced based on what we'd seen in single player that a multiplayer mode, as difficult as it is to see it today, could fit well with the theme that we're, that we're building for, for the single player. And once you'd made that decision, how challenging was it to innovate in uh, a, a, an area, if you like, where there's, it's saturated at the moment, you know, online shooters, how hard was it to do something new in that field? Um, it, it was, I wouldn't say it's necessarily difficult. What was difficult is actually being able to convey the message that we wanted to, to, to convey, which, you know, we could, we, I can sit there with you and tell you, hey, we want to do cooperative, we want to do a survival cooperative, we want players to work together, but sometimes we build a mode and that's not really what happens sometimes. But for us, there's, you know, there's inspiration everywhere from, from a whole bunch of other games that have done it as well. But studying what's going on at the single player and going through different iterations of modes, different iterations of maps, balancing these modes and balancing these maps, we wanted to, to, to get the end result, which, we, which is what we hope we have to, today, which is these modes that feel like an extension of what you, you get a feel of in single player. You get an idea of what the scavengers want in single player, and you play as them in multiplayer. Same thing with the survivors. Is it a big challenge to get the single player right and establish the characters you'll be playing with online so you don't have eight Laras running around the maps all the time? Yeah, well, at least they don't get eight, because it's four against four. So you might have four at worst. But... Um, you know, we, we, we debated that at first, you know, the idea of having one character limited, but at the same time, you know, the, 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 the level is what, the leveling up system in the game is what allows you to unlock certain characters. Lara is the final character you unlock, but at the same time, if you observe the curve, you can tell people's talent and how deep they are into the game by the characters they've unlocked. So, I mean, Yes, technically you can have four Laras running around, but ideally if you're playing with friends, and we've been seeing that already with since the announce of multiplayer, people kind of already saying, you know, ownership of certain characters. I want to be Roth, I want to be, you know, Grim, I want to be Lara, and hopefully the, the, the depth of the single player campaign allows players to, at least in multiplayer, not necessarily away from Lara's experience, want to play with these other characters. And how close are the environments in the game to single player? Uh, have you taken the exact same environments and turned them into you know, maps that just play off the single player or are they brand new locations that, were that are slightly based on the single player stuff? Yeah, they're, they're not at all. I mean, the way that we've looked at it is picture this vast island and these areas that you've passed through in single player and picture there might have been some areas that you didn't get, a, you, didn't, you couldn't explore, you know. Um, they, we, we, it's, it's impossible, you know, to build a map a multiplayer map that feels right, that, that's been balanced right, strictly from a section that was built for a single player campaign. It doesn't work that way. We played the mode today where you're, one team's capturing medipacks, yep. the other team is trying to kill the people capturing the medipacks. There you go. What subtleties and nuances are there in there to prevent it being just another capture the flag mode? Sim I mean, you, you, I think you just said it, there's basically two sides with two different objectives. The survivor side is where maybe you can strike some resemblance to capture the flag. Your goal is to bring med packs back to a certain point. But scavengers is all about eliminating you. And they do that. It's not just about eliminating you by shooting you down. You get injured. I, I think you went through that, right? You get injured, and then the player needs to take a big risk, right? Coming up to you and finishing you off right when you're down. I think that's a big risk reward. Um, that's one of our modes. And again, the fact that we add traps, right? 
appreciate the fact that we add this, this game changer element that we have per map. Each one has an exclusive game changer. Um, means that you could play the game as a traditional, not necessarily traditional, but with these um, Asymmetric, uh, asymmetric goals, but at the same time, you could start playing in with the, you know, you add the traps, you add the game changers, all that stuff could, could mean a like completely chain of momentum at any time in the match. It's not just about getting your objective because at some point you could be down to like one or two points to finish your objective and all of a sudden the match changes and now you have to be on the defensive versus the other team.